Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. State may face deficit of 334 crores if no mining. Government can't enforce even half of annual plan. New budget short by 1160 crores. It's budget panchanama. Transfer policy for police not in place. More than 450 police unmoved from posting for the past three years. 71 police stuck at place for decade. Transfer policy awaited. State committee to get national games infrastructure in place to present games budget before bu government. Goa to host 26 events in national games in 2016. And Australia crushed New Zealand in ICC Cricket World Cup, claims fifth win, Clark's final one-day international trophy dedicated to fellow cricketer Philip Hughes. Now the news in detail. State may face a budget deficit of 334 crores if mining doesn't resume coming season. In initial two years, this government has run the state spending 25% of its capital borrowings on salaries and schemes. Government has not been able to enforce even half of the annual plan. While it could hardly enforce a plan up to maximum of 999 crores, the latest budget has proposed a plan of 3,121 crores. The proposed budget is already short by 1,160 crores. It would be a big achievement if government executes even 50% of proposed plan. Watch Budget Panchanama. Goa government has made a budget provision of 13,331 crores even while mining is yet to resume in the state. It's 408 crore surplus. The surplus follows expectation that the mining will resume by the next season and government will earn revenue worth 742 crores from mining. If it doesn't, the Treasury will face an estimated deficit of 334 crores. However, Chief Minister Parsikar is holding the cards to his chest. <laughs> I mean, e auction percent That's not all. Though government has proposed a budget of 13,331 crores, it's actually 9% short, facing a budget deficit of 1,160 crores. That gets the budget down to 12,173 crores. That means the government has surrendered 9% of its budget before enforcement. Now have a look at the BJP government's performance in the initial two years. Performance was 50%. 2012-13 to 13, plan 1,921 crores, implemented 940 crores, that is 49%. 2013-2014 to 2014, plan was 2013 crores, implemented 999 crores. That is 49%. Now have a look at the government's popular schemes. The figures have crossed the annual provision. The overshooting of budget is enough to explain why beneficiaries sometimes await the monthly pension and benefits due for several months. That's not all. While admitting that the parents were complaining about the misuse of cyberage tablets by the ward, Chief Minister Lakshmi Khan Parsikar cleared his intention to review the scheme. Instead, for the coming financial year, the budget for PC tablet scheme has been raised from 40 to 50 crores. Now have a look at the financial position of the state. In the last three years, the annual state borrowings have increased by 13% while the state's revenue increased by 10%. Till March 2014, the public debt and liabilities has touched to the figure of 12,694 crores. The figure may cross 14,000 crore by March 2015. The fiscal situation is despite the government earning 2,000 crores from mining sector even when mining activity in the state was closed. Stem duty 700 crores, ore auction 670 crore, royalty 130 crore, 
dump conversion fee 360 crore transport sales 150 crores that gets to a total of 2010 cr the borrowings rise by almost 1200 crore every year government pays 100 crore interest on borrowing every month populistic social scheme monthly cost the state treasury almost 65 crores monthly outlay of almost 300 crores on salaries pension gratuity and school grants while the state average revenue is just 550 crores a month the proposed budget is already short by 1160 crores what remains is 12173 crore taking this government's past performance into consideration it would be appreciable if government manages to implement even half of the proposed budget bureau report prudent with no proper transfer policy for police in place it's leisure time for several men in uniform almost 450 police have not moved from the posting for the past at least 3 years 71 police are stuck at a place past decade a havaldar has not been transferred since past 24 years and another since 16 years in the cid branch government has now decided to have its transfer policy in place which is intended towards fixing maximum tenure of 3 years for a posting here is a report Police staff in Goa has been found serving at a single posting for past several years. 467 police staff, especially the havaldars and officers of higher ranks in various departments and police stations, are found holding a single posting without transfer. In CID branch, a havaldar has been found serving from past 24 years and another havaldar for 16 years without a transfer. Now have a look at the situation across the police stations and various police departments. One havaldar for 15 years, one havaldar for 14 years, three havaldars and one ASI for 13 years, one havaldar for 12 years, eight havaldars and one ASI for 11 years, 43 havaldars, nine ASIs and four PSIs for 10 years, 42 havaldars, 15 ASIs, one PSIs for 9 years, 48 havaldars and seven ASIs for 8 years, 59 havaldars, seven ASIs and one PI for 7 years. 53 havaldars 10 asis 3 pis and 1 pi for 6 years 116 havaldars 19 asis 9 psis 3 dysps and 1 sp for 5 to 3 years this data is only of the havaldars and the ranks above them the number touches 500 mark without considering the situation at constable level till date police department is following the transfer rules framed in 1998 The new transfer policy for cops is yet to be drafted. Ekhadi vyakti ekat zagyar three years, four years, five years, rawli zagyar it has its own disadvantages. Orki zata, orki yo bore asta dhizori gadal khari asli. Tari ji samajatli kahi anti-social tatakati elements asta they weigh you, they take you for granted. Yanara kaat. दीर्घ काल को